And if you can hear gunshots, it's because you can hear gunshots. Fuck. Welcome back to the channel. We have a few orders to pick today and some work to get done. So let's just roll into it, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, that'll be my chair broken then, won't it? Yeah, and my hip. First off, in box H, we... Oh, no. Oh, no. That looked worse than it was. First off, box H, we have some Sony headphones, which I've had for ages, to be fair. And there they are. Sold for £17. And we also know that these have sold as well. They might as well come out now. But yeah, these headphones, I've had them for ages now. They're probably worth more than what they sold for, but they were sitting around for too long. 17 pound. I would have paid no more than a couple of quid for them. BSA t-shirt, vintage one. It's in one of those boxes up there. Sold for 14 pound plus postage. Owes me a pound from a car boot sale. Then we have a Bubba Gump Shrimp Co baseball cap. It's in that box down there. Owes me 50p. Sold for nine pound plus postage. Pure Evoke DAB radio just here. Paid £8 for this or £6 for this about two weeks ago. It's got like an add-on speaker. I've never seen it before. That's what intrigued me. And it was cheap, especially for a charity shop. £35. Free postage on that one. Oh, you little sh... This was a bit of a shocker. Here, yeah, paid £10 for this yesterday. Or the day before. Friday or Saturday. Listed it. And it sold within the same day. 75 quid plus postage. It's off to America. I didn't tell anybody about this because I didn't think it was going to sell as quick as it was. But it's just a, just a candy dispenser. Pretty sweets in there. Pull his arm down. And a little sweet pops up just there. World War II. It's limited edition. Number 129 of 500. But yeah, nice little sale that. Happy days. Tripod. I've had this for ages now sitting around. It's actually worth a little bit more than what I sold for. But again, it's just been sitting around for so long. Time to get rid of it. There it is. I see you. Just a small... Tiny little tripod, vintage, from a big camera bundle that I brought from a car boot sale a little while ago. So it owes me nothing now. £16. Oh, free postage. There's those speakers. Sold for £9.60 again. Free postage. I've got a lot of stuff that I haven't managed to get around to adding postage onto yet. Some Lokes sold for £36 plus postage. These are nice, look like a nice suede colour. They're over there somewhere. I'd get them out, but too much of a chore. Just now have sold some RM Williams £20 plus £2.99 postage. These owe me four pounds fifty and that's all the sales that i've had this weekend not too many is it a couple of hundred quid but it's definitely not nothing to shout home about but what is something worth talking about there's my garage door it's knackered look it's bust it's bust i'd like to hold it up with a pole today when i moved in i knew that it was needed it needed changing you know a few little gaps and stuff but i thought ah, while it's you know while it's while it's working there's no point in, no point in fixing it is there broke yesterday pulled the door closed Walked off, heard this almighty fwack. It was that. I knew immediately from the sound what it was. So I called some bloke up who just got into his house. Didn't even take his shoes off. He said, I'll come back out to you, mate, and have a look. It's quoted me up. It's going to cost me about £1,200. And it's going to take about five weeks to do so. I've got a long wait and a nice bit of cash to sign save. It is what it is. These things happen. I'm hoping, I'm speaking to my accountant, I'm hoping that because this is an area that I use solely for working in it's a working space within my home i'm hoping the garage door might be a business expense i'm just waiting for some clarification back on that one i think it might be but then again, i'm not an expert that is why i use those guys at boffix and quickbooks take all the aggro out of everything jack's been messaging me this weekend asking me to get a report across i've just done that for him the little work that i have to do is incredible so anybody who's considering using a online digital app and want an accountancy firm that will actually look after your needs and has some resellers among them, people in there who are fully qualified accountants and they resell, so they understand the game. Link is in the description down below. Please do not forget to go and check it out. Have a little look at their website and anything that you do choose to go with, use the code RickyLee50 to get 50% off your first month. And it's not expensive anyway, so 50% off you, it's almost making it free. It's not free, but it almost makes it free. So yeah, go check it out. I'm getting a lot of empty gaps in all of my shelves now. Stock is dwindling, dwindling, dwindling. That may look full, but if you know my shelf and you know how to stack a shelf, you know that, that they, are, they are not full. All right, most of that can get down onto one. Most of these boxes here are looking 
empty, slim, lots and lots of space in these boxes. Lots of space in the box that needs to come out. It's one of my favourite plates in the world. Yeah, so I'm running out of stock. Not not panicking, not not, pan not in a panicking situation. Just lots of my stuff moving, getting it gone. Car boot sales open soon, I'm going to flood the place. So the plan is by next month to get this empty, completely empty. And I'm going to put another shelf up, which I've got here. I'm going to build another shelf. I'm going to push this all down half a shelf. So I can push this down half a shelf. So I can then bring another shelf and run it out this way. And still keep the integrity of the recording and clean space, backdrop space. That's my plan, boring. Bought some bits yesterday. I'll show you what I picked up from the charity shop. This little thing here, Rotring, it's a great brand to be looking out for. A great name. This is a drawing board. So it's like you can etch on it, measure things out, put your measurements on. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about yet? Paid four pounds for that. I'm going to list it for about 45 quid because there is some extra bits in there. There's some protractors and stuff in there. So I'm going to add it, list it for a little bit more. Or oh, I think actually 45 might be a competitive price anyway. But if I add it with the stuff, with the extras, life's a dream, isn't it? Put that down there. What's this? The Gucci. I listed the Gucci yesterday. Put a little screenshot. I picked something else up from the charity shop yesterday, but I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, pure uh, DAB alarm clock, nothing special. So today's plan is to get a lot of this stuff sorted out. I want to say a big, 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 big shout out to Project Games yet again. One of my previous videos, I was talking about how I am trying to not bite my nails. It's going quite well, actually, to be fair. In fact, it's going very well. I've got, I've got that little white bit across the, top of the <laughs> across the top of the nail now. And he sent me a little fidget cube thing to mess around with and hope that will work and stop me from having the craving. I sit down and play a bit at night when I'm watching TV. It does wonders. Very, very thoughtful. Didn't ask him, didn't tell me, just did it. So I really appreciate that, Matt. You're a real one. Thank you. And if you can hear gunshots, it's because you can hear gunshots. There's a field down that way. And every Sunday, someone goes out there and shoots things. I'm guessing pheasants. Swing! That is the parcels done-ish, kind of. Most of them, apart from one, I can't find it. I know it's in one of those somewhere, but I obviously didn't put the SKU label on, which is very frustrating, but it is what it is. Before I forget, thank you, Phil. Phil brought some bushel binoculars off me, left me a little note on the order, so I do appreciate that, dude. Left me some positive feedback too, so they must be okay. Appreciate it. It's raining, it's wet, it's windy, so I am going to stick some charge on the laptop, do a little bit of work, and then go. So I guess I'll see you on the next video. I appreciate it. Take care, ta -da.